U.S. Senate has confirmed Nicholas Burns as Washington's ambassador to Beijing. Senators voted 75 to 18 on Thursday to fill in a vacancy that's been pending for almost a year. Burns has previously taken a tough stance on China, saying that Beijing can't be trusted to uphold its commitments to Hong Kong or the Taiwan issue. Analysts say his appointment signals a continuation of the U.S.'s hard line on Beijing. I don't think we can, we certainly cannot trust the Chinese in this issue. During a confirmation hearing in October by the U.S. Senate's Foreign Affairs Committee, the Biden administration's nominee for ambassador to China, Nicholas Burns, did not mince his words, saying that China could not be trusted. On Thursday, senators voted 75 to 18 to confirm him as the next ambassador to China. Chinese uh, leaders in recent months has been that they intend to take back Taiwan. Our responsibility is to make Taiwan a tough nut to crack, help it increase its asymmetric defenses through the Taiwan Relations Act. Burns is 65 years old and has a wealth of experience in diplomatic affairs. He had been present at the Hong Kong handover ceremony in 1997 and has since seen how China has gone back on its commitments. He has said that Hong Kong's example shows that China cannot be trusted to uphold its commitments on the Taiwan issue. The commitments they made to the people of Hong Kong and to the rest of us around the world, and the Chinese have gone back on every one of those commitments. So if we link that to Taiwan, we obviously cannot trust China to meet the commitments it's made on the Taiwan issue. Observers say that Burns's hard line on China means that Washington will continue supporting Taiwan and pushing back against Beijing. Before departing for China, he laid down very clearly his stance on everything related to Taiwan and China, setting a bottom line and upper limit in cross-strait policy. It doesn't really represent a major breakthrough or policy change. He is a career diplomat. It's not like before, where maybe good friends or the president or heavyweight politicians were sent to Beijing to deliver messages from Washington firsthand. Basically, career diplomats don't have such a strong political stance. They deal with matters in a strictly business-like manner. After an almost one-year vacancy, an ambassador has finally been assigned to Beijing. Amid the current tensions between the U.S. and China, Burns will have a tough job on his hands.